This warehouse is a gold mine of precious metals. Literally a gold mine buried inside unwanted machines. So this is a classic telecommunications board from an exchange. And what we're looking at here is all of these little black chips, which look very dull, but actually contain all of the metals we want to see. So copper, tin, zinc, magnesium, gold, silver, platinum, palladium, yttrium, neodymium are all hidden inside these chips. And that's what we're after. This company recycles around a thousand tons of old electronic kit every year. From the copper wiring to the plastic around it, which goes off to become the bottom of traffic cones. But the warehouse isn't where the really clever bit happens. To get the precious and rare earth materials from the microchips, they grind them into a solution of bacteria. Here's an example of how it might work. So this is cut off an old electronic circuit board. This is gold leaf. Apparently 7% of the world's gold is stuck in e-waste. So you would put this in the bacteria. The bacteria eats effectively the glue that's holding the gold on. The gold floats to the surface and floats away. And here's the after. You can see the board is completely stripped of gold. The normal recycling process either melts the circuit boards with heat or uses acid so it can have a big carbon footprint. They say their bacteria is much greener and in the lab next door they're working on making it more efficient. Bacteria are actually living organisms so we have parameters that we need to control and measure constantly. Things like pH, temperature and the nutrients we give them essentially their food. Um, if you and I were to get sick we'd, get, we'd check our temperatures and then we'd decide what to do next. Exactly the same thing, principle with the bacteria, where we check the nutrients. If the nutrient levels are good, then the bacteria can do what we want them to do, which is essentially leach out the metals from the e-waste. So it's the long-term idea, basically, to take the recycling to the businesses. They would have a little recycling plant right next to where they're making the things. Yes, that's right. Yeah, what, what we look to do is, is reduce the carbon footprint of transporting, unnecessarily transporting waste all over the country and, and uh, actually deal with it at points of use. Only a fifth of the world's e-waste is ever reused. I mean, how much have we all got tucked away in drawers? Scientists are now calling for a global effort to ramp up recycling before we run short of the precious elements to make our gadgets. I started my career as an electronics engineer fixing mobile telephones in the days when they were still bolted into cars. And we were the generation that really saw the explosion of technology. As part of that, we would be the generation that has a responsibility to actually clean up that technology afterwards. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Suffolk.